I've spent a handful of days in this room. It's a great check-in, you know, just to be in here and I'll sit over in one of these, one of these chairs, 06, 07, and I'll just kind of just have some quiet time to myself and reflect. It is so much about the journey. That's why I love visiting this room. And it just kind of brings you back to like, what, what is important? What do you need to do? What can you do today to get better? It's a great check-in. Okay, break. We're going to run out, uh, do some cuts and relays. Gip will let us know where we're going with the play. Let's make it happen. Make it look clean. Let's go. Come on. Go. Take care of the baseball. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Gip's on first. With Mitch, he came in. I remember when he was recruited here, and I remember Pat and the other assistants here saying, we got a, a really good infielder, third baseman, shortstop type, but I didn't hear much about catching when he first got here. Canham throws to second and the runner tagged out there. As I was transitioning into being a catcher, everyone else was better than me. I was really good at running to the backstop and picking up the ball. This transformation from, from the beginning of the season to by the end of the year when we're playing in Omaha was, you know, exceptional. Friendly goes, fastball swung on a miss. Canham's one hot throw to second is in time to Jason Ogata for the out. The book tells you everything you're supposed to do. Here's how you catch, here's how you pitch, here's how you hit, all this. None of that matters if you don't have the right guy doing it. And so he was definitely the right guy to be our catcher at that time. Canham a high drive to deep right. Smith goes back to the track, to the fence, so long! And we asked him to be a catcher, asked him to be a leader on and off the field, but, you know, didn't have an easy life. Being a young kid, moving around 13 times before finally landing in Lake Stevens, you know, parents being separated, it can be difficult. It was hard, but everybody has hard times, you know? It's what you do with them, right? I come home on a hard day at work and wrestle with Mitch. He wasn't the best athlete out there, but he worked the hardest to be the best. I remember you know, trying to pursue baseball and wanting to get better. My dad would throw me batting practice when he'd get done from a long day of work, and my brother would be in the outfield shagging. He couldn't stand it. My younger brother was not much of an athlete, you know, but always very supportive of me. He was, he was the brains, I was the brawn. Everywhere we went was together. We were always close. His mom, mom was loving of them, you know, and, and it's just, her and I didn't work out. Growing up, uh, split parents, we'd go over and stay with my mom for some time together, and we'd go stay with my dad together. Uh, I really felt like he was more than just a little brother to me, like he was like my son. He was a, a huge part of completing me. My freshman year, yeah, no doubt it was very difficult. First day of his school, I got a phone call that his mom had passed away. And I'm like, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna tell his son, you know, my son, that his mom's gone. She means the world to him. My first day of class, into September, going over to Psychology 201, came back, got a phone call. She died from a drug overdose. And that was um, a very difficult time for myself and my brothers, uh, all of us. Very, very difficult, uh, very difficult on him. And I honestly never went through it with a player, you know, in my career. Man, you know, I, I think it's, it's part of what's made him who he is. It made me stronger, it made me want it. And I remember sitting down in that clubhouse and talking about what our goals were. And I remember standing up and saying, I want to win a national championship, and I'm going to win a national championship. And looking around the room and seeing who's with, who's with me? Who's, who want, who's ready to do this together? Graham 
Davis under it. The Beavers are the national champions! He makes the catch, and it's over. One of the greatest moments in the history of Oregon State athletics and in the Beaver State. We became a kind of a national brand and a national presence at that moment. There's something special about our guys and their character and what they do. And um, boy, what, a, what an unbelievable evening it is for Oregon State University and this group of guys. 07 was in a sense even more impressive. To accomplish that two years in a row, it was amazing to watch unfold. Strike three call, it's over. And the team that almost did not make the field of 64 has won it back to back. My first year of professional baseball away from home. It was an Easter, you know. It, yeah, that was, a, that was, that was a tough day. I remember, you know, when I got the call, where I was, going home and just feeling blank. The most difficult thing ever gone through is losing my younger brother. Uh, in the military. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I just, I couldn't believe that the type of tragedy, I mean, they'd, that Mitch had already been visited with, with the loss of his mom. I, I could hardly believe that Mitch is going through something else that again is just um, unthinkable, really. Watching my brother get, um, you know, taken off of the plane in the casket was, was a lot. And then processing it with my dad, how, how hard he took it as well. It's like, what are you doing? Where are you going? You know, every movement for, for a couple of years or whatever, just me and him left, you know? It's just like, wow. He was so giving, like whether it was financially or time or whatever, he loved other people and he always did the right thing. So, yeah, he, he still changes my life. Yeah, it's, um, it's so impressive that, uh, that Mitch threw all of the things he's gone through has not become embittered or angry. He's gone the other way and become more appreciative of every gift and every person. And so when I heard Mitch was coming back, I thought, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I am absolutely delighted to introduce you to our new head baseball coach, Mitch Canham. Mitch uses those moments as as motivation and as things that have taught him to be who he is today and to be the, the great father that he is, the great husband that he is, and then obviously the, the great coach and leader that he is. He impacts me. I know that just as much as he impacts our guys. Beyond proud, you know. He knows how to get the best out of a person, make you a better person. Strong character strong will. I'm really proud of uh, you know, what he's accomplished in his life from what he's went through. I think he's going to win a national championship, maybe make a run at Pat before it's all said and done. However many national championships he wins aside, I think he knows what the, the better part is and what the bigger picture is all about. After a big, big win or even a tough loss, you know, you reflect back and I was, I was so motivated by, by my brother. Adversity gives you that opportunity to build more strength. It's about loving one another and, and, and overcoming those, those hardships. I think I learned a lot about that my freshman year that helped propel me to get into this position to help lead these young men.